Graham, it's brilliant to be back at the Car Fulham Group. Um, it's been a few years since we've been here before, but I, I want to take uh, this from, from the ground up, really. I want you to sure. tell us about OGP, which is a division within the group. Can you tell us what that business does and what the products are? Okay. Well, pro probably the first thing I'll start with, just a little bit of history. Um, OGP, as a company, was formed in 1946, and they started to manufacture optical measuring equipment. And then early into 1972, they went into multi-sensor machines. And when I use the word multi-sensor, uh, that's really a, an optical machine with probably tactile measurement and laser measurement all incorporated into one system. Okay, so who uses these types of products, Graham? Where do they fit in industry? So typically, most of the OGP products will fit into milling companies, they'll uh, fit into tool rooms. Um, one of the products was launched um, around about 14 years ago as being the Toolmakers um, Microscope. Um, so it gives you the ability um, to use optical capability for looking into things like the flatness of a component, um, looking into the roundness of a part. Um, so and give us an example of what yeah. those parts may be then, because obviously parts vary to a, a great degree. Where, where, does the, where does the technology yeah. really fit? Yeah. The technology will fit into any type of component that's been manufactured. Um, now some components are more challenging than others, so in certain cases we have to introduce fourth and fifth axis rotaries to accommodate those types of applications. Uh, but we supply many leading companies with um, machines for aerospace, for measuring things like nozzle guide vanes, cooling holes. Uh, we also go into a lot of plastic moulding manufacturers as well. Uh, medical devices have been a big forte of the machines for many, many years. So we, we cover a wide range of different organisations through the UK. OK, so um, potentially explain optical as well then, and the differences between that and maybe sure. a CMM and, and so sure. forth. So when we're using optics, um, optics will give you speed of measurement. So for instance, a CMM might acquire a point every second. Optical measurement will acquire 150 points in around about half a second. So then you have a, a throughput then. OK, well, and when it comes to tolerances then, what can you get down to? Tolerance-wise, if you look at a general machine tolerance, uh, we're very much similar to a CMM. So sort of two microns, you know, X and Y, three microns in the Z. Some of the sensors we use are sub-micron sensors. But of course, that all falls within the performance of the machine. And it's not just the technology in the machines. You actually have a subcontract service within the business too. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. Um, I think during COVID, um, when there was many, many challenges in the marketplace, um, you know, lots of companies have staff, uh, you know, on the furlough scheme. Um, lots of troubles getting components uh, inspected. So we opened up a facility here to allow customers then to get parts measured, so they could still supply. Um, you know, to various companies. So we set up a superb uh, in, in subcontract inspection facility that really gives us, I'd say, capability up to about half a metre cube. Um, and with that, we can measure small components or large frame components. And is that what's happening in the background That's here? That's actually what's happening today. Um, confidentiality, we obviously can't tell you what's actually on the machines, but that's what we're actually doing today around all the machines here. And it's a perfect lead into then someone potentially purchasing a product when they can see you know, how efficient and, and how precise and how good the technology is that's measuring Absolutely. their parts. Absolutely, and I've, and I've got to say there's probably half a dozen occasions um, during COVID that we've actually turned subcontract into machine sales. Um, because of the equipment that's being used and the benefits back to the customer of the product. And how good is the technology compared to the competition that you might have in this area then, Graham? Why OGP? Leading edge technology. We're at the forefront of technology and we have been for many, many years. We probably are the best uh, kept secret in the marketplace, uh, and hence you being here today, Paul. Uh, we want to get this product into the marketplace and show people what we're capable of delivering to help businesses along. So who watching this uh, whose ears watching this will be going, hang on a minute, is this something that I should be utilising? Yeah. Where's, this, where's this audience? I would, I'll be talking to production managers, quality engineers, uh, quality managers, anybody that's got a challenge uh, with inspection, uh, whether it's on the shop floor or in a, in a, in a room, um, these machines have the capability to help a lot of businesses.